What up, Rafa Leaders? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to 2024. Happy New Year and a prosperous New Year to returning viewers and to new viewers. This is Raphael the Nation and subscribers of this channel are Raphaelitos. This year is going to be a banner year for Guyana and for this channel. Last year was really, really great, but this year I expect to be twice as good. And that's starting with the fact that Guyana is poised to become the richest country in the Caribbean this year. That means that by the end of 2024, the GDP, Guyana's GDP is likely to surpass that of Trinidad. Now Trinidad's GDP is somewhere around 24, 25 billion dollars. And last year, 2023, Guyana's GDP was about 17 billion dollars but this year in 2024 it is expected to exceed 20 billion dollars for the first time and it's quite likely to end up somewhere around 27 billion dollars which will be greater than the GDP of Trinidad for the first time so that is what's happening in Guyana now I want to talk about why this is um, going to happen and how you know the government is responding to this now, a lot of people have asked in the past what's happening to the value of the Guyana dollar in all of this, in this scenario. Why isn't the value of the Guyana dollar increasing? I'm going to address that at the end of this video, but let me give you the reason why the Guyana dollar, why the GDP um, is likely to surpass Trinidad this year. And that's because the production, oil production, has finally reached about 600,000 barrels per day. So the um, three FPSOs combined are now producing about 600,000 barrels per day and that means the Ghana is producing about for the entire year if we keep this up and if we increase at least 219 million barrels of oil this year and if the average price of oil stays above $75 a barrel so let's say the average is about $75 a barrel and there's reason to believe that it could be much higher because the average price for oil a barrel of oil last year was about 80 82 dollars a barrel so if this year the price of oil stays on average about 75 dollars a barrel that 219,000 219 million barrels of oil will earn Guyana about 16.4 billion US dollars and Guyana gets 14.25 percent of that that works out to be somewhere around um, 2.4 billion dollars right so that is how this is likely to happen so if the GDP contribution from oil works out to be about 16 17 billion dollars then it's only another 10 billion dollars from the rest of the economy that will take it to about 27 billion combined so in other words if the rest of the economy including all the sectors of mining agriculture and other product production um, contributes 10 billion dollars this year to the economy and it likely will be um, in that range then Guyana could reach about Guyana's GDP would reach about 27 billion dollars um, in 2024 and that will surpass Trinidad for the first time Trinidad's GDP is somewhere around 25 billion dollars um, now All right so that's the projection for 2024 this is why it's going to be a banner year now the government has already come up with a one trillion dollar um, budget that is supposed to address mostly infrastructure development um, in the country and we can see from the videos I've made in the last year how much infrastructure is changing new roads are being built new hotels are being built I'm gonna give you some follow-up on that this year you know the the um, progress with some of the new hotels and the new um, roads and, and housing developments but we're going to go into more detail this year in, in, in explaining why things are happening how things are happening how the banking sector works how my companies like I said in a previous video a couple of years ago I said I'm building billion dollar companies what's the progress with my companies in this scenario and why this is the best time and the best place to build companies um, right now in 2024 but let's um, briefly close let me as I close let me give you my assessment of the value of Ghana dollar. Now, the value of the Ghana dollars stood fairly steady at about two hundred and nine to 214 um, Ghana dollars to one US dollar for the past four or five years. However, recently there's been a slight 
increase in the strength of the US dollar and the value of the Canada dollar has slipped slightly. It's now about, my bank is giving me 214.8. In other words, $214.80 um, Ghana dollars for one US dollar. When it used to be 214.5, just $214.50 Ghana dollars for one US dollar. So that means that the Ghana dollar has slipped slightly, perceptibly, in value against the US dollar. And why is this a bad thing? I think that this is a time for the Ghana dollar to actually regain its strength from its um, post-colonial days. So actually, just after the end of um, the colonial year when Ghana became independent, the value of the Ghana dollar was about two to one US. And it needs to go back to that because this is the right time to do it. And people who are arguing that the Ghana dollar should stay um, weak are saying the reason why you shouldn't increase the value of the Ghana dollar is because the exports, Ghana's exports will suffer. In other words, our exports are competitive because of, the, of a weak dollar. But this is not true. It has never been true and it's certainly not true now. The reason is our exports are already priced in US dollars. So it doesn't matter if the value of the Ghana dollar increases, the price of our exports have always been in US dollars. We've always sold our goods and services in US dollars. And now oil is being sold in US dollars. Now that $16.4 billion minimum that Ghana will earn in 2024, it could be as much as $20 billion in 2024, that $20 billion is earned in US dollars. Is, is earned in US dollars. In other words, oil is sold in US dollars. Right, and that's now about two thirds of the amount of money, the volume of uh, goods sold, oil and gas amongst oil that is, amongst for two thirds of Guyana's earning, and it's so it's it's being transacted in U.S. dollars. So those people who claim that Guyana's exports are going to become expensive and less competitive are actually not telling you the truth. The fact is, Guyana's exports have always been sold in U.S. dollars or sugar or um, bauxite or rum, whatever you export them, they're exported and they're priced in US dollars or euros or in foreign currency, right? So it's not true that the value uh, of the Ghana dollar increasing will make Guyana's exports less competitive. So I expect the value of the Ghana dollar to become and to remain stable. And in fact, the only thing that's preventing the value of the Ghana dollar from increasing is the government's policy. We have a weak dollar policy. The government of Ghana has chosen to maintain a weak Ghana dollar and that's the main reason why the Ghana dollar remains weak. However, it should be stable because the um, cash reserves, that is the um, sovereign wealth fund, keeps growing in value. In fact, it should be at the end of 2023 about two billion US dollars in the Federal Reserve Bank of New York and by the end of 2023 based on our earnings of about 2.4 billion US dollars our sovereign wealth fund should reach about 3 billion US dollars and in the Federal Reserve Bank of New York and these are the reasons why the, the strength of the Ghana dollar should increase because it's now backed by petroleum right we now have a petro uh, what is called what is referred to as the petrodollar right the Ghana dollar is now backed by petroleum and that's the reason why it should be stronger and more stable so that's what's happening in Guyana guys that's what's happening in 2024 it's going to be a banner year for production oil production it's going to be a banner year for GDP it's for the first time Guyana's GDP will exceed 20 billion dollars and for the first time it's likely to surpass Trinidad and become the strongest in other words the largest economy in the Caribbean that's what's happening guys if you want to see more content like this click like and subscribe Share this with your friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgia and Guyana. Subscribe and let people um, understand that this channel is going to become, um, it is in fact the main channel, but it's one of about 10 channels, right? So if you subscribe to this channel, it's the main channel which I'm talking um, in general about what's happening, what's changing in Guyana. But I have all the channels where I, where I talk about food. So subscribe to those channels as well. There's the Raffle Nation Food Channel, Raffle Nation Business, that is Raffle Nation um, finance, business, we're going to talk about all things business finance on that channel. We have Raffle Nation um, cars in which I'm building a car company and one in um, post developments on that channel. In fact, I'm going to 
talk about the developments in my other companies on the business channel but if you want to keep track of what we're doing subscribe to those other channels there's 10 other channels out there and i'm going to be posting videos on them regularly in 2024 so that's what's what's up guys share this video with friends and family around the world let people know what's happening here in georgetown guyana later